So I still have fresh memories of my brother, the elder Hamlet's death. And though it was proper to mourn him throughout our kingdom, life still goes on. I think it's wise to mourn him while also thinking about my own well-being. Therefore, I've married my former sister-in-law, the queen, with mixed feelings of happiness and sadness. I know that in marrying Gertrude, I'm only doing what all of you have wisely advised all along, for which I thank you. Now, down to business. You all know what's happening. Young Fortin brought underestimating my strength or imagining that the death of the king has thrown my country into turmoil, dreams of getting the better of me, and never stops pestering me with demands that I surrender the territory his father lost to the elder Hamlet, my dead brother-in-law. So much for Fortin Bra. Why are you still so gloomy with the cloud hanging over you? It's not true, sir. Your son is out in the sun. Mr. Hamlet, stop wearing these black clothes and be friendly to the king. You can't spend your whole life with your eyes on the ground remembering your noble father. It happens all the time. What lives must die eventually passing to eternity. Yes, it happens all the time. So why does it seem so particular to you? Seem, mother? No, it is. I don't know what you mean by seem. Neither my black clothes, my dear mother, nor my heavy sighs, nor my weeping, nor my downcast eyes, nor any other displays of grief can show what I really feel. It's true that all these things seem like grief, since a person could use them to fake grief if he wanted to, but I've got more real grief inside me that you could ever see on the surface. These clothes are just a hint of it. Hamlet, you are so sweet and such a good son to mourn your father like this. But you have to remember that your father lost his father, who was his father before him. And every time, each son has to mourn his father for a certain period. But overdoing it is just stubborn. It's not manly. It's not what God wants. And it betrays a vulnerable heart and an ignorant and weak mind. Please give up this useless mourning of yours and start thinking of me as your new father because everyone knows that you are the man closest to this throne and I love you just as much as any father loves his son and your plans for going back to Wittenberg are not what I want. I'm asking you now to stay here in my company as the number one member of my court. My nephew and now my son too. I'll obey you as well as I can. That's the right answer. It shows your love. Stay in Denmark like us. My dear wife, come. Hamlet's agreeing to stay makes me happy and every merry toast I'll drink today will be heard as far as the clouds overhead. My drinking will be echoed in the heavens. Let's go! dirty flesh could melt away into vapor or that God has not made a law against suicide oh God God how tired stale and pointless life is to me damn it it's like a garden that no one's taking care of and that's gr that's growing wild only nasty weeds grow in it now I can't believe it's come to this my father's only been dead for two months no not even two such an excellent king, as superior to my uncle as a god is to a beast, and so loving toward my mother that he kept the wind from blowing too hard on her face. And now this is happening.